Criftonville and Bangor Academy under 13s kicked off on Saturday morning on a freshly laid 3G pitch at the Dub in Belfast. Criftonville in the white and red and Bangor in the blue and yellow. Criftonville started well in the game and some early pressure led to an own goal from a Kenzie McMullen free kick. Griffinville kept the early pressure on and this long range strike from Joel McKnight made it 2-0 on the 7th minute. The North Belfast side almost made it 3-0, but Owen Ross got down well to save. More pressure followed on the Bangor defence and Owen Ross was kept busy through most of the first half. Bangor Academy then put together a lovely flowing move and Daniel Butler fired hard and low into the bottom corner to give his side some hope. 2-1 now the scoreline. Bangor then had another effort soon after the goal. This free kick from Adam Sanderson proved to be an easy save for Ross Regan in the Criftonville goal. Criftonville then grabbed the next goal before half time. This instinctive finish from Padraig McVicker made it 3 1 to the Reds. Three ones soon became four one when good pressure in midfield allowed Criftonville their next goal scoring opportunity and Stephen Bradley finished it well, firing powerfully into the top right corner to give Criftonville a three goal cushion at half time. Into the second half now and Bangor started it well with a good period of possession down the right wing but Jake Murphy's effort was never going to threaten the Cliftonville goal. Bangor came forward yet again and this powerful run from Daniel Butler almost led to a goal scoring opportunity. Griffinville then scored the all-important next goal in the 53rd minute when Patrick McVicker poked home from inside the area. Full time it finished, Griffinville 5, Bangor Academy 1. Yeah, very happy. Um, we had a tough game last week against Green Island. Um, so. We were coming in today, we were well up for it. I thought we started the game really, really well. Um, we were on the front foot, put the pressure on and got a few a few goals early on. And they sort of sat back, which made it, you know, not as difficult for us, but we still had a game to play and uh, I thought we controlled it really well throughout. Um, overall, I think we, we deserved the victory. Tough match this afternoon, yeah. Baptism of fire. Um, Clevenville were very, very good the first half, kept the ball. Um, don't think we started from the word go, word go really. We were 2-0 down before we even started. Must have been uh, too much Xbox or something for any night. But a uh, bit happier the second half. Showed a wee bit of, wee bit of heart. Um, not really a lot I could say to them at half time, apart from just show, show a wee bit more heart and go out and went try and win the second half. Um, so we'll give a, a better account of ourselves the second half. but. Every team seems to have strengthened and strengthened quite well this year, so it's um, hard running for us too. Um, it's 
ましょうか。